Greetings. Our Lenten journey this year had been like no other. This year for many had indeed truly been a journey into the wilderness, a time of loneliness and isolation for we could not gather in person, a time of hunger and thirst for we could not feast at the Lord's table, a time of loss and despair for many lost their near and dear ones and the old familiar ways had to be cast aside. On so many levels, we had been tried and tested. This year, however, will also be a year of hope and possibilities, for this season challenges us to open ourselves more fully into the meaning and promise of Easter while living under the heaviness of Good Friday. This season calls us to put our faith and trust in the goodness and love of our Lord. This season offers us a time to examine ourselves and to begin again, a time to put down what we must leave behind and to open ourselves to the possibilities of what can and will be in the truth and promise of the risen Lord. As we live these most holy days, we experience the fullness of our human condition. In tears of loss, we experience the presence of hope. In facing our fears, we find extraordinary courage. In tasting death, we find everlasting life. This is the journey of Lent and the promise of Easter. The Emmanuel Martima Church, Virginia, presents a famous Easter hymn, Christ Arose, written by Robert Lowry in 1874. Low in the grave he lay, Jesus my Saviour, waiting the coming day, Jesus my Lord. May we join in this song together and celebrate the power of Christ's victory over death. Hallelujah! Christ arose. from the grave. 